Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Memo. Today we're going to look at the Bitcoin charts, we'll do some TA, we'll look at various time frames, and we'll do a comparison with the two most recent pullbacks since our run up from 30k. And we'll also take a look at Market Cipher. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Let's get into the charts. So let's start here on the weekly time frame. There is still three days before this weekly candle closes, but at the moment it's looking quite good. It looks like we are getting support here of the VPVR. We'll have to see how the weekly closes and we'll take a look at that as we get closer to that close. Onto the daily time frame now. Been watching this parallel channel drawn on the log scale. And we said we could possibly come down and touch the bottom of this channel. But we also said that this could possibly be the bottom. And there was an argument for both. And we were comparing this pullback here from 53k to 39k. With our current pullback from 69k to 55k. And we were watching this white trend line just connecting the two highs. And we said to be completely confident. We'll need to see this trend line be broken. Looking at a smaller trend line here in yellow, you can see this gave us an early indication that we're possibly going to break this white trend line. And we can see currently we have come up to this yellow trend line, but this daily candle hasn't closed yet. We are also currently above the 382 level here on the Fib retracement from this low to this high. And we will have to wait for this daily candle to close still. But we can see on this previous pullback from the low to the high, once we did get back above that 382 Fib level, we did carry on forward and break that white trend line and continue the bull market. Bring up the VPVR now, the amount of volume traded at certain price levels. We can see a few spikes here. We did have this spike in the volume around 57.4, just below that 382 level. And we are currently above that at the moment, which is a good sign also have this area which may act as resistance between 60,700 and 62.3 and I've also just marked off here this area of volume resistance in keeping up our comparison with this pullback and our current pullback. We've got those areas marked off with these red boxes and this yellow box is the two-week order block and we can see we have been inside this order block for several days here the two-week candle does have another week after this week though. So just looking at how this VPVR resistance reacted with our previous pullback here, we can see after breaking these key trend lines, we did spend some time and initially got some resistance around that VPVR area. So we could possibly do a similar thing here and get some resistance when we do reach this area on the VPVR. Pulling up the EMA ribbon now, we can see we are inside this ribbon. We do still have to wait for this daily candle to close. The top of this ribbon is currently at 60,300. Looking at the stochastic RSI, we can see we've started ticking up here. We have gotten above the 20 level, but we do still have to wait for this daily candle to close. The RSI, just drawing a trend line connecting the tops here. We can see we're currently testing that trend line. And looking at this previous pullback, we see a similar trend line. And we did take several goes here before we did break above this trend line. And just doing that same comparison with our current pullback and the previous pullback on the left here. This is on the 12 hour chart. And we're looking at a similar trend line here connecting the tops on the RSI. And we can see on the previous pullback here, we did spend some time here trying to get above the trend line. And once we did break above it, you can see it gave us a early indication that we were going to break this major white trend line here. And looking at our current pullback, currently we have broken this trend line on the RSI. We have broken it with both of these candles. And in a similar fashion, this could be an early indication that we are going to break this main white trend line, which currently is at 62.5. And back on the daily, another way to look at these pullbacks here is if we did draw a parallel channel on the log scale and see just connecting the tops and the bottoms this bottom wasn't exact but we do see the midline here in yellow 
This acted as resistance and when we got back above it here after this second touch it did act as support and then we did break this channel and similar to our current pullback here just drawing a channel it didn't get the absolute top but we're just connecting these two tops and the lows we can see the midline in yellow here acted as resistance we got that second touch and now it has acted as support on, on this pullback and now we have actually gone above this channel and open the new daily candle above it to so another bullish sign that the bottom is in similar to this previous pullback onto the Bitcoin futures chart now and the futures chart did actually close on the 26th of November due to the Thanksgiving holiday in the US so we do have three days where the futures chart is closed and we do notice it did close at a price of 59,620 and we did wick up during that daily candle to 59,910. Looking at these similar white trend lines, we did pretty much close just touching this trend line. So that means we have to be aware that there may be a gap formed on the open on Monday, or we may hang around the futures closing price so that we don't have a gap before moving to higher prices. Again, these gaps don't have to get filled. We did have a gap down here that never got filled but more than 90% of the time they do get filled. This is just the futures chart on an hourly time frame, just showing that 59,910 closing price on the daily. And what's interesting about this is if we do compare it to the Bitcoin spot price chart, we can see that the futures has been trading at a premium and did close a lot higher than the Bitcoin spot price chart. And it is interesting looking back here, we do see that they were pretty much level with each other here as we were bottoming out. But we can see after this pullback down to around 56,000 that the futures was trading at a higher price than the spot price as we did rally up here. So let's just look at some order blocks on the daily time frame now. These order blocks are demand and supply zones. We get these from a green candle in a downtrend, as we can see from this green candle, and also from a red candle in an uptrend, as we can see from that red candle. These become of interest later on and can act as support or resistance levels. Let's look at some of these levels now zoomed in. And what we can see is we did have these three order blocks here in blue. They come from the price action back in April. And I mentioned in previous videos, I do think that these areas will act as support. This yellow block here is the two week order block. We can see it has acted as support so far. We do also have this thin order block here around 58.7. And we are currently above this area, but we'll have to see how the daily closes. And we'll need to close around 58.8 to close above this order block. We have several other order blocks higher up. I think this one will be important because it's the most recent order block and that level is between 60,150 and 60,350. As we mentioned on that futures chart, it did close the daily with a week around 59.9, which is near this order block. So we could spend some time in this area over the weekend and on Monday when futures opens, we try to break this white trend line that just connects the previous two highs. So let's go down to the four hour chart now. This is on the log scale with that parallel channel on the log scale. And we see the similarities with these pullbacks here. And when we did break that yellow trend line, we did end up breaking the white trend line not long after that. Looking at our current pullback more closely here, we can see we did close the four hour candle above this yellow trend line. And we are testing the top of it at the moment. And just looking at the VPVR on the four hour time frame, we can see that spike lower down here, which could possibly act as support if we did pull back to this trend line on the parallel channel. We also see an area of possible resistance here with the most amount of volume traded at 61,224. So I've just got those marked off with those yellow boxes. And I'll just switch back to the regular scale here rather than the log scale as I've got these patterns drawn on that scale. So we have this area of possible resistance and this area of possible support. 
And I've also got marked here when the futures opens again with this white vertical line. And also on this top horizontal line is the closing futures price at 59.9. And this second white line is the price that the spot price was at when the Bitcoin futures closed. So a bit of a range here as there was that premium on the futures price. And as I mentioned, I think we might spend some time in this area over the weekend. So as not to leave a gap on the futures chart before breaking this white trend line and continuing this bull run could possibly also break this trend line on the weekend maybe get some resistance at the top of the vpvr resistance here around 62 280 remember that main area of resistance was around 61 3 and then possibly come back down to test this trend line for support and that would come back to that futures closing price and leave us with no gap and then get a bounce off this trend line and start having a bullish week as we do try to break this area of VPVR resistance. We do see we are now above the four hour EMA ribbon, which is a good sign. We do need to see this ribbon flip though with the yellow line going back above the red line here and start using it as support as we move higher. But keeping up that comparison with the previous pullback here, we saw this 4 hour EMA ribbon acting as resistance several times. Once we did get back above it, it did carry on with the bullish momentum, break this white trend line and start using it as support on this run. So another good sign for the bulls here. The top of this ribbon is currently at 58,660 and the bottom is at 57.8. Looking at the stochastic RSI, we are quite high here on the 4 hour at a 95 rating. And looking at the RSI, we are at a 60 reading. And we do have to be aware of this potential bearish divergence here. We have made higher highs on the RSI between these two points. But there is quite a difference between the highs here on the price with the lower highs. So we could get a pullback from this divergence, whether we get it from this level or we go a bit higher here. Possibly even touch this white trend line and then see a pullback. We do have to be aware of that bearish divergence and the stochastic RSI being quite high here. Looking on the six hour, the stochastic RSI is also quite high here, around 98 reading. We do also have that potential bearish divergence with slightly higher highs on the RSI, lower highs on the price. And the 12 hour stochastic RSI is also quite high here at a 93 reading. So the daily is just starting to take off above that 30 level, but we do see we are quite high on the 4, the 6 and the 12 hour time frame. We don't have that potential bearish divergence on the 12 hour chart here, and the RSI is only at a 50 rating. So plenty of room to move to the upside. Again, just showing that daily, the RSI is only at a 46 rating, plenty of room to go to the upside. And the stochastic RSI is just starting to take off here at a 26 reading. Looking at market cipher now, this is on the four hour chart. We did get a nice move with this blue wave crossing the zero line. The money flow still in the red, but is moving to the upside, getting close to that zero line. But we can see we might possibly get a pullback here on the four hour. We don't have a red dot yet, but this blue wave is starting to curve. The six hour also had this nice move on the blue wave across the zero line and the money flow is slowly moving up here. So there might be a bit more left in this move before we see a bit of a pullback from that bearish divergence and a bit of a cool off on the market cipher on the four and the six hour. We see the 12 hour has been moving up with this blue wave and just keeping that comparison with our previous pullback here. We are doing a similar thing here. We can see we got a green dot, a red, a green, a red, a green. So it took several goes here before we did get that move and start really taking off. We can see here we went a green, a red, a green dot. So we could possibly do a similar thing. If we get that pullback on the four and the six hour, we could get a red dot on the 12 hour and get a similar pullback here before trying to get that green dot again possibly on the Monday or early next week. 
and the daily does have a green dot it's not confirmed yet but it does give us more confidence that this was the bottom we can see on that previous pullback we've been comparing to we did actually get a green a red and then a green dot and we mentioned we need to look at the two day chart to give us more confidence that we are going to start moving higher and looking at the two day chart now this was our previous pullback we can see when we got that green dot we did really start moving quite quickly to the upside and we can see we are getting quite close here to a green dot this blue wave has started to curve around after cooling off and the next two day candle isn't on the next day's open but the one after that and the two day candle after that one will be on the monday so this could take a couple of candles here and possibly on monday we see this green dot and then during the week we start seeing this price really start moving up so i think that's about all again i do think the bottom is in here i do think once monday comes the futures opens that we're going to see bitcoin start taking off whether we open with a small gap on the futures chart and then come down a little bit to close it on monday and then move higher or if we stay in the range of the futures closing price and open without a gap and then move up on monday i do think the bottom is in and i do think next week is going to be very bullish for bitcoin so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that analysis i'm bitcoin mamo see you next time bye